Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I wanted to show you guys how you can recover permanently deleted photos on your iOS device. So I'm gonna be showing you using my own iPhone and I'm gonna show you this cool app that allows you to do that and also how you can download and install it for yourself. So I'm gonna be flipping my screen over and showing you guys step by step so that you can easily follow along using my own phone. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone. So actually, before we continue with downloading and installing, I first want to show you the app that allows you to do this. So it's this app right here called Photos Recovery. And basically, once I open it, as you can see, I don't have any of my photos left in my albums. They're all deleted permanently. And if I want them back, all I have to do is click this button here to recover them. And they are immediately instantly recovered so yeah if you also want to be able to do that for yourself let's go ahead and proceed with the tutorial so we are going to head to our settings first as ios users so we're going to click our settings and then once we are here first we're going to head down to battery and here in battery we just want to make sure that we have low power mode turned off and that we have at least 10% battery in our device so that we don't run into any issues when we are downloading and installing the app, okay? So keep that in mind. Make sure that low power mode is turned off. Okay, so now heading back to our settings, we are going to go ahead and click General and then Background App Refresh and then click there again. So here we just want to make sure that we select either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data. So either or is fine. Just make sure that it's not an off. Okay. If you're only using limited data, then you might run out once you are in the process of downloading. So we don't want to risk that. So either one of these is good. Okay. Now heading back to general, we're going to go ahead and click about and here we just want to confirm that our iOS version is at least iOS 11 or above. So if you don't have at least iOS 11, I do recommend you try to upgrade your iOS version before you try to download and install the app since it will most likely not work for you, okay? It might not be compatible, okay? So make sure you do that before you try to download and install. All right, so now we can head back to our settings menu and we are going to go down to Safari. And in Safari, we just want to head all the way down to advanced. And once we are here, super important step, make sure that you do have JavaScript enabled. So make sure that it looks like that. So JavaScript allows the web page to load properly, meaning we can download and install our app also properly. So super important step to have JavaScript enabled. So make sure it looks like this. All right, and that's basically it for our settings adjustments. Then we can exit out of there and we can head to our web browser. So click your web browser, whichever you prefer is fine. And once we're here, we're just gonna type in the name of the web page where we can find our app, which is this one right here. It's called vivahelper.com. So once you type that up, just click go and then the web page is gonna load just like that. So up here we have a search bar and we're just gonna go ahead and click here and we're just gonna type in the name of the app which is Photos Recovery. So there it is. So once we find it, we're just gonna go ahead and click on it and then you're gonna get this pop-up here. Just make sure that you click download now and we're just gonna give it a couple of seconds for it to finish downloading. And as you can see, it's pretty quick, almost halfway there already. And after this downloads here, what we're going to do is we're going to finish installing it into our device so that it's up and running just like our other apps in our device. Okay, so once that downloads there, you're going to get this pop up. Just go ahead and click allow and then it's going to say profile downloaded. Keep that in mind and click close and we're going to exit out of our web browser and we're going to head back to our settings. And here we just want to look for that profile downloaded notification. So if you're using iPhone, it will most likely be at the very top over here. So once you find it, just go ahead and click on it. And then you're gonna get this pop-up and this is our app and basically we're just gonna finish installing it. So click install. And then if you do have a passcode in your device, just type in your own passcode and then click next and then install up here and down here. And then finally click done. And yeah, that's basically it. Once we exit out of there, as you can see, our app is 
right here in our home screen along with the rest of our apps ready to be used so yeah guys that's basically it that is how you can recover permanently deleted photos on your ios i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you next time